Hey guys, Arcade Adam, back with another video. And then this one today, we're gonna do Bezel Project. So it's real simple, get in the browser, Google Bezel Project. You wanna make sure it's the x86 for Windows repository. Um, they make this for RetroPie and some other uh, systems as well. So make sure you get the Windows version because that's what we're using with Hyperspin and or LaunchBox. Go to the website, scroll all the way down, get the download, it's right in the releases page. They update this a lot, like th this thing is getting updated all the time. The last release was on May 5th. So grab whatever the latest release is when you're watching this video, download it, install it, all the default options are fine. Fire it up, it's got a, you know, instructions, pluck them and file them. This is important though. Uh, this is telling you to set the preferences and the paths before you do anything. So I'll show you how you do that real quick. So ignore one through four up there, you want to go to the preferences button. You don't need any of that one through four stuff. Okay, target directories. This is where you put in your path. So for you guys that are running Rocket Launcher in Hyperspin, you want the last one on the list. I'm going to be using RetroArch because that's what I use with Big Box, uh, but it works with both. You can do both at the same time. So here you go. This is how you find Rocket Launcher. You click the Browse button. You go to your Rocket Launcher root directory. You hit OK, and you're good. Now before you leave this page, the other thing you want to look at is your theme style. You can have the per game theme style. So these guys have made a theme for every single individual game, which is awesome. Or you can have the system art, which just tells you it's Game Boy or it's Genesis or whatever. So real quick, I'm going to disable uh, my master or sorry, Mega Drive because in America that's Sega like Genesis. So we're going to disable it. We're going to say yes to overwrite. I want to show you what it looks like with it off. So we're going to hit OK. And exit and we're going to launch up big box all right now we'll go find the sega genesis system And we'll fire up a game. Miss Pac Man, why not? Button A, Button B, Button C, Button X, Button Y, Button Z. I got my Primary LED control. blinky telling me my layout. Eight -way joystick. And here we go. Now you notice on the sides here, it's just black. There's nothing. There's no bezels because we disable it. So that makes sense. Go in a game just so you can see what it looks like. And if you notice, I do have my scan lines turned on. So we have that. We have that retro CRT look because Genesis was a 90s console and I think that looks rather nice. Uh, but your you know, personal preference because you know when you go back in the menu, you don't have that. So it looks much more clean and crisp so we'll get out of here we'll go back into uh bezel project i just i love these videos i don't know if you guys have this one for genesis but the music and the art fantastic anyway let's get out of here let's go back into bezel project and we'll re-enable that and we'll read through these instructions like we're supposed to yada 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 now um so you can process for retroarch but you guys would hit process for rocket launcher if you have rocket launcher so hit okay there's disabled Mega Drive, a.k.a. Sega Genesis. Now we enabled it. Okay, so I skipped a step in the beginning because I already had it downloaded. And I already tried to make this video several times showing the process of downloading. But every time it either took forever or crashed my recording software. So just to explain real quick, you can process for RetroArch, for MAME, for anybody. And then you go in here and you can download. But before you do that, you want to hit Update Install Script because that gets the latest list of artwork to download. So hit OK on that, and then go back and look at these systems. So you can see, you can see I already had the Atari systems installed. I don't have the Game Boy systems or Game Boy Advance installed, so I could add those. I could update MAME. They're updating it all the time, so you get new artwork, different artwork, or whatever. But once you hit OK, when you hit Update, it's going to download a really large file, like gigabytes, like huge, because it's every artwork for every game. So be careful with that. But that's how you download and process the artwork before you do what I did and I showed you how to do it. Sorry I can't record it for this video, but just wanted to point that out real quick. So anyway, we'll go back into Big Box. I re-enabled the bezels. Let's get back into Genesis. And we'll fire up Miss Pac-Man again. 
and we'll see what it looks like with some bezel artwork. Button A. Button B. There goes LED Blinky Button again. C. And there you go. See, look. Button X. I've got game-specific artwork in Primary Sega Genesis. Control. This is not MAME, so it's for every console almost out there, as you saw on the list. So once you go into the game, you've got this nice TV-looking border. I've got my scan lines turned on, which look pretty sharp, next to the crisp bezels. So you've got scan lines on the game, but not on the bezels. I love this combination. It makes it look like it, you're as close as you can get to the original with an LCD screen. And of course, par for the course, I get tossed out of the game. Anyway, let's go try another game. Get into my favorites. Let's try some Battletoads, why not? Button A. Button B. Button C. Button X. Oh, that looks sweet. Button Y. Button Z. So we got game-specific artwork for Battletoads. Got our scan lines <laughs> and our cheesy dialogue. <laughs> All right, let's find another game. Uh, Primal Rage. Let's check that one out. Let's see what that's got to have some cool artwork. Button A, button B, button C. Oh, button nice. X. Looking good. Button Y. Primal Rage button C. bezels, and they've Primary got the theme control. going, so it kind of looks uniform. Joystick. You know, with the the squares down at the bottom with Genesis, they kind of had that theme on their box art, you know, originally when you bought the game, so... Okay, those were popular games. Let's try to find an obscure game so I can prove to you that, like, yes, every game has a bezel. Okay, Zany Golf. Never heard of it. I'm sorry if this was your jam or this is a much bigger deal that I'm not aware Button of, but Button let's see B. if this one's got in, uh, custom bezels. Button and it does. X. Button Y. Got a Zany Golf Button logo Z. in the lower left and some... Primary control. Picnic table joystick. golf looking craziness going on. <laughs> I've never heard of this thing. Uh, shout out to you if you this was your jam back in the 90s, but why not? Let's take a stab at it for a second here. How does this work? <laughs> uh, hold down button A and release A. Okay, so I have to go call my shot with the cursor. Uh, Okay, go over here. Hold on. It just recenters. What the hell? Um, whatever. Anyway. Zany Golf. There you go. Let's find another one. Um, something we've I've never heard of. Which shouldn't be too difficult. I've heard of Zany... Okay, uh, experts. <laughs> That's some, uh... Nice motion capture going on there. Let's try this one. Button A. Button B. Button C. Button X. Button All right. Y. We've got a nice custom Button bezel Z. for this no-name game, Primary too, as well. Control. Again, apologies Eight if this was your joystick. jam, but I have never heard of this game. Uh, but now that I'm here, I think we're going to have to try it. Uh, let's see. How do we start this thing? I guess we gotta hit start. There we go. Sure. <laughs> oh man. I love retro games. Wow! Look at the motion capture on this. This is wild. It's weird. It's like motion captured sprites we digitized. <laughs> oh, weird. Coolant temperature. It's kind of gets an aliens vibe going on in here with these levels. All right. Oh boy, he's got a gun. We got to take care of this guy. He's stunned? He's stunned! <laughs> Alright, what about you? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Alright, uh... How about one more? I mean, why not? It's Genesis. Oh, no, let's try a different system. Um, as you saw on the list, I had a bunch of them enabled. Let's go to uh, N64. N64. 
Let's see if Killer Instinct has a nice bezel. Primary control. Xbox 360 controller. Oh, nice. As you can see, I have the bezels turned on here, but I don't have the scan lines turned on because this is a, a newer system, and I think N64 looks a little better without scan lines. But your preference. You can turn those on or off. Um, I can do a different, separate video on scan lines because, like I was saying earlier, I use RetroArch, so you can do a lot of different goofy things with that. I think if you're using Rocket Launcher, you again, you can still use RetroArch with uh, Rocket Launcher, so we can definitely do that, but if you're using a different emulator, it might be more difficult to turn on scan lines. Well, let's find another one. Jeopardy. Sure. Let's see if this one's got a custom bezel. Primary <laughs> control. It does. Xbox good old Alex. Controller. Fighting the good fight. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is Jeopardy. What? In the heck with this game, but I guess it's the exact same thing as the TV show. Sure. Um, <laughs> oh man. All right, let's try another system. How about original uh, NES? And uh, what game should we try? Oh, Robocop. Oh, Robocop versus Terminator. There you go. There's an obscure game. Button B. Button A. Oh, look at that marquee. It's got Primary the back of the control. game. Primary control. Cool. I never noticed that. Eight-way joystick. Oh, sweet. Look at the artwork. I got to turn on scan lines for this one. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. If you've got any questions, like I said, Bezel Project works with RetroArch and uh, Rocket Launcher, so you just you know, point the important thing is the, that preference file, like point it to your actual directories and it will install the artwork for you. You've already got Rocket Launcher configured and your games are loaded, you're done. That's, it's gonna, you know, if you've got bezels enabled, it'll just turn these on for you and install them all and you're good to go. That's the beautiful thing about Bezel Project is it's a really easy utility to use once you get it uh, up and running. Just like I said before, watch those downloads, they can be huge. And for whatever reason, it was just wreaking havoc with my uh, screen recording utility the other night. Like I said, I tried to make this video a few times, so it's a little frustrating. But uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll get to them. I'll help you out with this. And uh, thanks for watching.